What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we've got some Destiny 2 news and updates to touch on. And firstly, there are some very interesting story developments this week in the game, the tower becoming taken, and a disastrous dispute between tower factions, but also a bunch of give us details about changes to rewards coming this season, plus some Nightfall updates and vendor changes planned for season 15. And then we have a roundup of changes coming in early July, a Bungie Day reward, and teasers from Bungie about upcoming press releases. So plenty to touch on in this video, but before before we get into it guys, this video is sponsored by my friends over at NordVPN, and NordVPN allows us to keep our network safe by hiding our IP addresses and allowing us to encrypt our connections across multiple devices so that folks can't spy on us, steal our data, or knock us offline when we're gaming. And so Nord has a bunch of different capabilities, like allowing us to check out games which aren't available in our region by creating a virtual location with a choice of 59 different locations, and this can be useful for avoiding geographical restrictions, but it also stops DDoS attacks from hitting your actual network by creating a virtual one, so it's a super useful tool to have as a gamer. But the same applies for other content online. If a platform isn't available in your location, you can lightly connect from a different one. Or if you simply want to keep your devices and data safe on public Wi-Fi networks on the go, then it's super easy to set up. We've got options to auto-connect for instant protection, or we can specify which servers we want to use. And Nord has over 5,400 servers, so connection speeds are fantastic, but it also has more tech-savvy options, and if you want to check it out, then be be sure to follow my link down below and use code HOUNDISH at checkout to get a massive 73% discount with an additional 4 months of free coverage. So it's totally something worth considering since most of us spend a lot of time online. And once again, the details for NordVPN are down in the description box below. Initially today, we should mention the tower has become taken this week following the events of the story. And so Savathun, the Witch Queen, is amping things up, and obviously this is unprecedented and rather concerning. Just in time though, Mithrax told us at the end of Expunge this week that they think they have a way to get to Quiria, and so that's a fight we should take on very soon. But at the same time, Lakshmi's coup attempts have been ramping up, and it's clear that behind the scenes she's trying to overthrow the Vanguard, encouraging Saint-14 to try and take the place of Titan Vanguard. And so this is something which Saint 14 reports to Osiris in the dialogue this week, and if you missed any of that, here it is. Osiris, there is something I must discuss with you. Lakshmi, she came to me with a proposal. Are you taking over as Titan Vanguard? She discussed it with me as well. Lakshmi has radical ideas, but they are only words. No cause for alarm. Good, good. Only words. She wants what is best for the people of the city. And in truth, you would make an excellent leader. I do not seek authority. Zavala may have a beautiful desk, but he is chained to it. We could use less bureaucracy, maybe. A more proactive strategies, where we reclaim ground taken from humanity. An open council in the city to speak with the citizens. Ah! I have imagined a new vanguard, led by us. Led by you? I would stay back and advise. I lack the temperament for leadership. Ah, a fantasy only. I told Lakshmi I would think about it so she would go away. The words ugh, tasted like treason in my mouth. Let her believe you are considering it. If you refuse, I imagine she might approach Lord Saladin next. And after what happened with Keitel... I understand. Later we will speak more of this. It appears Lakshmi is speaking a bit too freely. I will report her behavior to Ikora, though I imagine she already knows. You should continue working with Lakshmi. Don't mention what you've heard. We must keep this as quiet as we can. With the Endless Night and the Elixni here, the city has become a powder keg. One errant spark and it could be the end of the Vanguard. Following this, Lakshmi broadcasts again, stating that the Vanguard are lying to us and have no plans to protect us. And she says if they don't, then she will. And so I think in the coming couple of weeks, the story is going to get very interesting as we've touched on previously. We've got big divisions between factions in the tower, the Taken presence increasing, and a risk of invasion. So safe to say it's all going on, and be sure to give us your thoughts about it down below. 
Now though, let's move on to a couple of other noteworthy mentions, and Bungie Help did say last week that drop rates for corrupted key codes have been increased from all sources, and players are encouraged to check the Postmaster for any uncollected key codes that they've earned. That change was a couple of days after reset, so if maybe you haven't played since last week, do bear it in mind. Also, some folks in the community did get early access to a code to unlock an emblem, called a classy order, and DMG said, don't buy the spicy ramen coupon emblem, it's meant to be a free gift on Bungie Day from us to you. I believe folks were actually selling codes to get access to the emblem, and the code itself was data mined somehow. And so do bear in mind that's something that Bungie are working on for Bungie Day, and certainly isn't something worth buying, as it's going to be a free gift. Also, Chris Barrett did tease that some folks from Bungie were filming last week. There was a lot of speculation that it could be for Witch Queen stuff or the upcoming season for a Vidoc, but Vanessa from Bungie confirmed it won't be any of those things. And so if it is something we're going to get in the near future, it'll quite possibly be associated with Bungie's 30th anniversary that I believe they're planning to celebrate sometime around Bungie Day, so there could potentially be some pretty interesting stuff going on there. Up next though, let's speak a little bit about updates to Nightfall drops, as well as a vendor update for Zavala coming in Season 15. And initially Bungie had said that starting on July 13th, the Nightfall reward rotation will enter a four-week cycle. Week 1 will grant Plug 1, Week 2 will drop Hung Jury, Week 3 will grant the Azumi RR4, and then Week 4 itself will feature Shadow Price, Palindrome, and the Swarm as potential rewards. So those three weapons from last season are going to be put back into the rotation as random drops on the fourth week, and DMG replied to Astacross saying that Adept versions will be available in GMs. So both normal and Adept versions of those weapons are going to cycle back in as of the 13th of July. Bungie also said though, that as we get closer to Season 15, they're going to have news on quality of life improvements regarding strikes, and there are changes coming next season for the way that we guild the Conqueror title, plus some nice changes for Zavala and his vendor rewards. And so Zavala is going to get some kind of an update next season, and looking back to when Bungie revealed rank rewards for the Crucible and Gambit, they had said that the plan is to add this system for the strike vendor in the future, so that's quite possibly the update that we're going to see in Season 15. And so give us any thoughts that you have about that. In terms of updates this season though, I'd imagine the conversation is going to shift towards an update we'll see in early July. That'll include Sleeper Simulant getting a 16.5% increase in damage over the damage value that it had last season. Another update which we should touch on for early July, and Cosmo said in the next update they should be fixing the issue where some of Banshee's weapons don't have masterworks on them. And so that'll be a useful one, especially when he has very good rolls of particular weapons. After the July update, we should be able to fully masterwork them. There's also a bug with the glory system in the game right now, and DMG had said that currently they're planning to fix that in early July, but also Boots of the Assembler is going to be buffed back to the state that it was in at the launch of this season, with the addition of empowering Noble Seekers properly proccing Benevolent Dawn for achievement of Grace Warlocks. That update will also presumably be the one that loads Solstice of Heroes in for the year. That'll be starting on July 6th, so that's a possible date for the update right there. Some final things in case you missed it, but Bungie are going to be releasing a Destiny toaster inspired by Jotun. And of course they announced last year that they were planning to do this. And we can see the thing doesn't look quite like the Jotun, but does have some of the Black Armoury symbols on it. Plus it's able to toast a tricorn into bread, that of course is the Destiny logo. And when you make the purchase on the Bungie store, you also get access to the Burnt Edges emblem. And so maybe not quite as Yotani looking as we'd hoped, but it might be of interest. Give us any thoughts you have down below. I also have to say a big thanks to Bungie for sending over a really cool season of the Splicer Survival Kit. Comes in a really neat box right here, and mine is number 12 of 45. There's also a note written in invisible ink hidden inside, which is pretty cool. Plus an LED Destiny Tricorn logo, but also there's a tape player inside with an actual tape version of some of the season of the Splicer soundtrack, plus headphones to check it out on. So very, very cool right there. I didn't think I'd ever see a Destiny soundtrack on tape. That's certainly pretty badass, and a massive thank you to Bungie for sending it over. However, for now, guys, that is what we have to speak about in the video for today. So give us any thoughts you have as always down in the comment section. And if you've enjoyed this one, a rating also really does help us out down below, but also feel free to get subscribed if you want to be kept up to date with everything related to Destiny 2. And otherwise, for now, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you guys have an awesome day.